Drew Ebanks, donkeyverymuch.blogspot.com. I'm here at Hoop Dome, and I got Toronto native Junior Cadugan right here, live at the Hoop Dome. How you doing, Junior? I'm doing good. How you doing, sir? Not bad, man. Just wanted to uh, talk to you and say what's up to you. I know you've been away for a while. Uh, you were in Marquette or down in Wisconsin for the last little while. Now you're back here. I um, wanted to talk a little bit about your uh, injury that you suffered. Uh, just uh, go into what happened there and explain how you dealt with it. Well, you know, I came to Marquette a, a week before school started. And, you know, I wanted to uh, get caught up with the other guys that been there all summer. So... I was going extra hard, you know, working out extra hard, and afterwards, you know, September 18th, you know, I, I just uh, was lining up in the individual workout to run a sprint in my Achilles tour, and, you know, it was shocking because I had no hurting going around, around my ankles or my feet, but, you know, my Achilles just tore, so it was just devastating. Now, I mean, anytime you have an injury like that, I'm sure it's hard. Uh, what, what did you have or who did you have to help support you in those tough times? Well, you know, I had my mom, of course, and my fellow coaches and my, the coaches on my coaching staff and my teammates helped, helped bring me up and, you know, encouraged me to, you know, work hard and tell me that my career is not over. I'm still young and, you know, they kept on pushing me in the rehab and, you know, kept on giving me advice you know that pushed me to work hard and get back on the ball court now you've just come back to toronto what were you doing in the last few months down there in milwaukee uh you know i was doing summer school i did two summer school sessions and you know i was just working on my game the whole summer you know to be trying to prepare for the preseason and the season well definitely uh now going forward to this season um what are your prospects in terms of your position on the team well, uh, you know, everybody knew that I was, uh, most majority of the people uh, kind of knew that I had a chance to start uh, last year on the team. And, you know, this year I have to come in more as a leader and, you know, try to be more vocal, you know, and try to uh, start this year. Well, and definitely, I mean, you're looking to start. Uh, what have you added to your game in that time w with your recovery and your training and all that to make yourself, uh, you know, the ability, give yourself the ability to step up to the next level? Well, uh, you know, after my injury, you know, I, I, I actually got more explosive. My vertical increased and my speed and uh, I, my jump shot got better. So, you know, this injury didn't really push me down. It really pushed me to get be even better. So it was... A, good, a great situation. When you say that, I kind of go back to uh, Roland Barrett, who played on the national team. Uh, he hurt his foot. Previous to that foot injury, he was more of a slasher going to the hoop. What that injury forced him to do is actually develop a shot and get better. So I can see where you're saying where yes, an injury like that, because you did end up playing at the end of the season. How many games did you play for Marquette? I played 12 games, you know, probably like three minutes a game, you know, just to get the feel and, you know, just to get the feel of practice every day and the intensity. So, you know, I'm used to it for this coming up here. Now that, to me, when I heard that you came back, that was an amazing recovery. I mean, Achilles tendon tear and to come back uh, so fast. Is that the training down there in the States uh, that got you there plus your own will? Well, it's it's really the mind thing and, you know, the type of trainers that we have. You know, we have Ernest Eugene that used to work with the Washington Wizards. So he knows what he's doing. So I trust his word and, you know, I just took the initiative to work real hard. Now, are you right now uh, looking at aspirations to the national team? Because I know a lot of the guys now for Canada, all the upcoming guys, you know, uh, the Joseph brothers, uh, of course, you have all the Anthony Bennett's, all these kids coming up now. Um, what about yourself? I mean, are you the forgotten guy right now with Team Canada? Or are you going to look to put yourself in that mix come maybe next summer? Uh, yeah, you know, if, if my coach gives me the opportunity to play, I'm definitely going to, you know, I love playing Canada basketball. People might think that I don't really want to play, but it's just, you know, I, I'm tied up with things in the United States. And, you know, once things free up, I'm definitely going to try to play on the national team. It's my country. Definitely. Now you're here, of course, back in this city. Um, what have you been doing since you've been back here in Toronto? Well, I've just been spending time with my family and my friends and, you know, working out. Not too intense, but, you know, just getting it in. Definitely. Anything out there uh, that you want to tell the people out there? Because, I mean, we haven't seen you for a while. Many people, you know, heard you were hurt. They don't even know that you played some games for Marquette. 
but this is going to be a huge year. You guys lost some players last year. They're going to look for you and as well as some of the other guys. Who are a couple of the other guys on your squad that, as, long, as well as yourself that are going to look to uh, take the team to higher heights? Well, we got Dwight Bikes. He, he's a, uh, he'll be a two-year Juco player. Uh, there is Johnson Odom. He'll be a two-year Juco player. And uh, we got Jimmy Butler, our senior. So, you know, we're looking to do, uh, you know, good things. You know, the way how we work shows on the court. Definitely. Anything you want to tell the fans out there at Junior Kaduga? Oh, just know that I love Canada and I haven't forgot about Canada. You know, it's my country. So, you know, one day I'll, I'll love to play on the Team Canada. Definitely. There you go. Here you, Mr. Routens, Leo Routens, calling you out. Look out for this man. He's going to make big, big, big waves, hopefully, this coming season. We're going to watch for you at Marquette. Thanks a lot, Junior Cadugan. This is donkeyverymuch.blogspot.com. All right.